Hey guys, what's up? Bob here. Welcome back to Evo Creo. So today, ooh, there's a teleporty thingy in there. Okay, so today we're uh, we're back in Evo Creo. We are taking on Shadow Hive in their home. Uh, this is their their big secret base. I'm gonna have to fight through like every bad guy ever. It's probably gonna be scary. So if you guys are uh, faint of heart, well, this might not be the episode for you. I'm kidding, obviously. It's uh, it's it's just gonna be like more more RPG action, but should be pretty fun. Um, where apparently this is where uh, the father is. My my the father. So in theory, this should be pretty cool. Like you know, there should be a lot going on here. So let's go ahead and uh, blast him. I saw um he when we challenged this guy, he said you better not even think about using that porting crystal. Which makes me think that um, this is going to be kind of like uh, Silphco um, from Pokemon, where it's like lots of um, lots of teleporting around. Uh, so that'll be cool, little teleporty puzzle. Now, obviously, this game is heavily inspired by Pokemon. Um, they pretty much wear that on their sleeve, so um, it's good to you know like kind of see that homage to that classic uh, classic level. Um, Let's go ahead and blast this thing with a hydroplane. I really haven't been doing that much damage to anything, have I? Oh well. So, anyways, but yeah, like I I like that sort of thing when you see like a level that's um, because it's not like you know, I, I some people will look at that and be like, oh, they just copied it. But it's like if it's an homage, you know, like kind of a, you know, tribute to a level in a game that's you know a classic. I don't think that's you know, there's a difference. Let's say. Anyways, this guy just has, like, exclusively Rideaus, so we're gonna use this guy. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I think that's cool. So, hopefully we can beat this guy. Beat him up, take his things, all that, all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Oh my god, that did a lot. <laughs> Jeez, that just wrecked him. Okay, Ferido. Oh, he's got one of these, huh? Um... Not super worried about that. I mean, they're they're kind of tough, but not that much. So let's just blast him with one of these. That'll super poison him. And poison does a lot, so there it goes. After that, I guess we'll just uh, use, like, focus power or something. He's just giving himself all sorts of statuses, isn't he? Yeah, blast him. And, ooh, we've chilled him. I was kind of hoping we'd like make him flinch or something, but whatever. Mame, holy cow, man! Holy cow, man! <laughs> okay, so that got him. Go solely. Good job. Good job, buddy. That's two levels for me. That's just from a Shadow Hive drone. Yeesh. All right, so let's go ahead and pop on this uh, this teleporty crystal thing. And where are we now? Oh, <gasps> there's more more bad guys. Uh oh, nowhere to run, for you. I do like their outfits. I'm not gonna lie, like they're awesome looking. Oh my gosh, this thing looks crazy. Look how cool it looks. Oh, I want it. Ah, I've been burned. Dang it. Dude, look at it though. Oh, it looks so cool. Uh, it looks like a shiny pumpkin. What's the pumpkin Pokemon thing? Not Pumpkaboo, the other one, because there's two, from the same gen. Um, I don't remember, but I remember that there is one. Ah, and I've been rooted. Dang it. See it? Okay, so the worst thing about this, when you get, like, trapped, it, I don't think, does it count as a status? I don't remember. But, I know for a fact that it does make it so that, um, you can't switch even after they've switched, and that's the worst. Okay, 84. We keep Vol Roots coming in. Now, we're not really worried about that. But it is pretty cool looking. Ah, why does everything look so great? These jerks, they think they're so cool with their awesome looking designs. I feel like I just like everything. Aw, oh, man, are you kidding me? Well, you know what? That's two statuses on us. So we're going to go ahead and use this Bota Orb. Use that. And we are cured of our two conditions. 
Are you kidding me? Stop it with the spores, man. Uh, use this. And that's in Burnham. Dang it. Okay. Come on, Furnace. Me and you, man. Ah, this is going to drive me nuts. You know what? I'm not even going to heal up my statuses. Because, like, not until after the fight, that is. Because, uh, no real point doing that. When I'm just going to get statused again. Take a little bit of damage from that. And there we go. We got Flamethrower back. Dude, stop it. Ah, dang it. Dude, stop it. And I don't think I can switch either. So that's kind of an issue. Oh, and it didn't kill him. Eh, what is this? Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to use this healing item. And he's going to die to burn. And then after the fight, I'm going to use my, my little Boda orb thingy. And that's going to be the way we... That's going to be the way we win this one. Yeah, take that, you. And we leveled up. Good. Okay, take that Shadow Hive drone. And now... Okay, it's a Boda orb. Let's see. Bag. Bolt orb. You. There we go. We did it. We're so good at this. Glad I bought like 30 of them. Hey you, fight me. A commander, eh? Wait, is this that guy? Or no, no, he's just a, a regular uh, regular Shadow Hive commander. Because I remember there was another guy who was like, ah, I'm the big bad guy. And then he was, I for, he has a name though, so. Not him, basically, is what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying and failing to say. Whoop, wrong thing. Wrong button. Let's go for this. I wish this game had, like, direct controller support. Because I think that would really help. Okay, one down. Take that, Fern. Think you're so cool just because I picked you as my starter? Uh, okay, Naja's coming in. Let's go ahead and switch out of that. And we will go into Solate. I don't know why, it just seems like it would be a good idea squeaky chair <laughs> my chair is so squeaky it's the weirdest like I I guess I could put something on it like WD-40 or whatever but no ain't nobody got time for that okay so we made him bleed dude seriously you're gonna use a trapping move on me what the butt man super pa oh gosh lacerate no here I was trying to trying to keep myself healthy. Oh well, we're getting there. Frenzied Vigor. Is that the bad one or is that a really good one? I don't remember. Well, I can't switch, so. So in comes this guy. And let's just blast him. Do a lot, do a lot. Oh okay, yeah, there we go. Got the poison. We got the poison. You know, I think I, I feel like I'm using this guy wrong. I feel like I should just do more directly offensive moves. Um, just because, like, I keep going with all these ones that, like, status things. Because he has them, and status moves are the best. And especially a move like, uh, like Gamma or whatever it's called, that can just immediately, you know, badly poison something, is just really powerful. But, yeah, it is Gamma. Um... I feel like I should just use moves that are just powerful because he's just got a lot of uh, attack to him and he's not that tanky you know so maybe that might be a, something to keep in mind although that said he's still been pretty good for me okay let's see Creo I actually want to check that that frenzied vigor oh whoops uh, info that's what we want to see so frenzied vigor what's that um Recovers the user's stamina beyond its original level. Heals less, but gains agility. Hmm. This one gains high agility and removes fear. I don't think that Frenzied Vigor is that good. Yeah, not not a fan. Um, and then 
Uh, what's his face? Uh, this guy, he learned to move last time. Um, last episode, right? It was this one. Just a normal move, isn't it? Is it? Oh, it's light type. But I'm not a light guy. And my, my ability means that I have, uh, what you call it? More, or sorry, my trait makes it so that I'm better. Oh gosh, there's two teleporty crystals. Well, let's fight this guy so that I can just, uh, get them all. This is gonna, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna get lost. I know it's gonna happen, guys. Hey, this guy's only got one thing, though. So, we're good. We're good, guys. Don't worry. Don't you worry about a thing. But yeah, um, I'm gonna get lost. And then you guys are gonna be, you guys are gonna go crazy, yelling at your screen. It's gonna be like, Bob, go, go left. And I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna go right here and see what happens. And then I'm gonna feel silly, and you guys are gonna be mad at me. Oh, it's gonna be the worst. <laughs> just keep going on and on um yeah so basically well that guy was pretty easy so I'm gonna go right because you guys yelled at me to do it no I think you guys yelled at me to go left and then <laughs> gosh well there's another crystal over here where did you come from somewhere you don't need to worry about that okay so this guy's got a rideau and we'll blast it with eyes ah, faster than I am. What the heck? Am I chilled or something? I feel like I might be. Or maybe I'm just bad at this. Okay, so let's just blast him with this. I must have, uh, like, shell or something going on. Because I'm just not taking damage from him. Use this. And, ooh, cool, we did it. We've done it, lads. Oh no, I no longer have hardened shell. I was just talking about that, you know? Hey, it's a Pepon. I think that's an air type, so we'll stay in. Right? I think it is. No, it's that thing. Okay, it's a grass type. Uh, and I don't have any grass, or uh, any, uh, what you call it? Fire moves. Dang it. Ah, and I'm burned. What is this? Okay, so. This stinking guy. Ow. And I'm trapped. What the heck? Stop it. Leave me alone. Lock on. Whatever. Blast him. Now, I, I still say it looks cool, but I'm not I'm not as uh not as big a fan as I have been with this guy keep he keeps burning me. Make him leave me alone, guys. Um blast him with this. Ouch. Okay, so bag, shuffle stock. There we go. We're we're making our making some progress here, guys. Don't worry. I mean it might take a couple of episodes to actually complete this area, but dude, stop burning me. <laughs> Ah! Hey, here we go. This should get him. Assuming I hit. Yeah, there we go. That gets him. This kills the crab. And I take some horrendous burn damage. Because, of course, we do. Okay. So, let's see. We want to go ahead. Whoop. Wrong button. I'm going to go ahead and heal our guys up. Ping. Actually, we've. Eh, the other guy's bleeding, but that's not that big a deal. Okay, so there's only one in here. Hopefully, this is the right one. There's another commander. It looks like he's got a, he's got the face mask, which means he's gonna be a pain in the butt. Yes, I think I can beat you. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been beating you all these times. I'm assuming that we're going the right way. That's that's something that uh, I can. Yeah, you know, point at it as like a positive thing. I think we're going the right way because we haven't, um, or we, we keep running into more commanders. Um, I'd assume that there's going to be commanders on the way to the big boss. Okay, so let's see what what uh, what things do I have going on here? Oh no, I've I've too many bone uh, boons. 
I'm not going to be able to set up my defenses. That's not good. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll get them all statused up and stuff. And I'm bleeding. Dang it. Well, I can heal that up later, so that's not that big a deal. There we go. We've got him super poisoned. Okay. We just gotta we just gotta kill some turns here, uh, and then we can set up our defenses, and then we'll we'll be a okay for the rest of this. Yeah, that's one of the problems with uh, with healing up too much. Like if you go to a a career center, or I had that one lady heal me up. Um, when they do that, they remove all your boons, which means, and especially with my set of boon, or you know, like my uh, my little passive effect that gives me random boons. Um. That can be kind of an issue. Let's go ahead and use this. Get back up to a decent amount of health. Shadowfall. Ow. Jeez. This thing. Look at this thing. This cat thing. Okay, there goes all my boons. So. Now I'm just going to use a random move, aren't I? Oh, no, this is going to hurt me too. Okay, it didn't. Man, I can't, I can't figure out what I'm doing. Fortify. That's exactly what I wanted, so I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, that does do damage over time. Dang it. I knew it. I was right. I was right, and I, I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have second-guessed myself. Okay, so we've got him poisoned now, and super poisoned. Get wrecked, loser. Get wrecked. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Love doing that. Uh-oh, I'm hesitating. Okay. I think that when I uh, when I have hesitate up, it just uses a random move that I can use at that point anyway. So I don't think that's really an issue. Like, it uses a random of my basic moves. Okay, got him. And we leveled up to 90. Oh my goodness. You know, I kind of hope that there is a level cap for this game, but at the same time, how many uh, turns of shell do I have left? Two. Like, I kind of hope there's a level cap, but at the same time, it'd be kind of funny if there wasn't, because, like, I keep leveling up just normally anyway. Hmm. Uh-oh, quicksand. What's that do? Oh, it traps me. Duh. Okay, well we've we've got a hardened defense up now. Yeah, this is uh this is probably not fair to uh to be completely honest. Because he's like not really able to do that much. Solid two damage there. L O L. And once we get him poisoned up, and there it is. I was about to say if we can super poison him and Lo and behold, that's exactly what happens. And we'll just keep our fortifications going. And Scorch. Yeah, this guy just doesn't have anything to hit me with, does he? Sorry, bud. Uh, I think you're doing really good, honestly. Just, uh... Not good enough to win. Okay. And I don't know what this thing is. I'm assuming, is it the, oh, it's the big cat. Okay. It's this big cat situation. Let's see. Three turns of that left so we can use this. Yeah, this poor guy. He's just not going to be able to do anything to me, you know? Um, let's use this. Swoop. Not gonna do much. And now we're gonna super poison him. Or no, wait, we're gonna burn him. And super poison. Oh my gosh. Not fair at all. Whatsoever. Let's see. Now we need to refill this. Or like re, uh, re up our shell. And now we can just go ahead and heal up. And just make his. Efforts completely futile. Poor guy. 
I, I do genuinely feel bad for this. Like, look at that. Oh, poor guy. I was at low health for a little while there while I was setting up. And now I'm just like unbreakable wall of just status and murder. Okay, so that guy loses. Ooh, are they genetically in hive key? Is this some sort of Kriya that they're genetically engineering? Can I have it? Let's see if I can uh, poke at anything on here. Nah, it doesn't look like... Ah, oh, man, I want it, though. Okay, well, it looks like I went the wrong way all those, all those uh, minutes ago. So, I should have listened to you. I should have listened to what I was saying that you said. Which is really awkward. But... It's been 20 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, next time we'll go we'll go the correct way, I guess, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to find Miss Shadow Hive Queen or whatever. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you later. Bye, guys.